Good afternoon, Natalie. Hello, Irving. Good afternoon. How was your day? Hello, I was sleepy. I was sleeping. <laughs> Well, but at least you remember that you have to come. <laughs> yes. set, set an alarm. Okay. I yesterday I about three alarms and it doesn't enough. <laughs> well, ask your little child to wake you. She knows how. <laughs> Today she wake me up. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, that's good. And your other classmates? Some of them are working at uh, this hour, no? I think that yeah, uh, the most of them are working and, and the others are work at night, so they was asleep too. They are sleeping. I, su I suppose that. Uh-huh. Yes. Just as you. Well. Okay. Yes. Let's start. Let's start it. Ay, me salió. Me sacó. Ay, no, no, no. No, no, ahí estás. Ok, no, solo la, la imagen se fue por alguna razón. Ah, ok. ¿Can you see? Este. Yes, ahora sí. Ok. 
Now, uh, comparative adjectives, okay? Me sacó a mí también, como que no nos quiere ah, hoy sí. Zoom. <risa> Está fallando. Ok, ok. Uh, read the thought for today, please. Ok. Who has never made a mistake has never tried anything new. Ok. That's the famous Albert Einstein. What do you think about it? Uh, the most important uh, man in the world. <laughs> she was yes, very important. One in of the science. most important, yes. I, it, the the thing yes, yes. that I like the most about him is that even uh, being a scientist, he does oh. not deny that there is God. Because most of the yes. scientists say that there is no God, that everything happened just. Yes. But but he knows that, it, that there was that, and, and I I like that from him. Okay, and I, yes. I and I always think why the scientists most of the scientists say that there is no God when they are more familiar with. Nos volvió a sacar. The the thing is that I guess that there is a a big storm. In, in in the in the Pacific coast because here we had a big storm lately. Maybe that is that is the problem. The problems with with the zoom. Okay. Now uh they, they have scientific reasons to know that there is God. <laughs> because uh, everything, even in the human, human body, everything is interconnected. Everything works well. And, and, and it, it cannot be by chance, okay? It has a reason why. Sometimes we don't understand the things, but because we are we have a limited mind. Okay. Now, lesson objective. By the end of this lesson, participants will comprehend the use of good in questions and answers. Okay. Good is mostly used with like. Or, or love and it is used for invitations okay for example would you like to go out on friday yes i would yes i'd love to this this is the contraction for good okay i'd okay. i'd repeat i'd i'd Okay, now uh, read the question, please. Would you like to go out on Friday? Mm -hmm. Now the 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 short answer. Yes, I will. Okay, now the long answer. Yes, I'd love to. Th to thanks. Okay, and the next one. Yes, I'd really like to go. Okay, I'd really like to go. Hey, hi, Gabriel. Hi. Uh, Gabriel, read the, uh, the question, please. Creo que tiene problema. Porque no está muteado, pero no lo escuchamos. Okay, now uh, read uh, the, the first sent uh, the first question, please. Would you like to go to a soccer match? Okay, do you like soccer match? ¿Sabe cuál soccer es el soccer match? match? 
Eh, es el que nosotros le llamamos fútbol, ¿verdad? Pero I always complain with my with American with American people that why do they call their football football when mostly is 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 uh, play with the hands and they yes. left <laughs> soccer for our football that is mostly played with 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 feet. Yes. It's something I never realized why. <laughs> now, uh, answer the first one, please. This one. I like to. I like to, but I have to work late. Okay, this is a way to th to thanks for for the invitation, but politely refuse it. Okay. Because somebody can uh, ask you to go, but uh, it is not polite just to say, no, I I, I, I don't want to. It's not polite. So you yeah, say, yeah. I'd like to, me gustaría, but I have to work late. Pero tengo que trabajar hasta tarde. O sea, le da como, como it is a refusal, but you don't, you don't hurt the other people. Okay? Now, uh, the other one. I'd like to, but I need to save money. Okay. And the next one. I'd like to, but I want to visit my parents. Okay. Which of these excuses are better for you? Uh, I like, I like to, but I have to work late. Yes. It's more likely because when you say I need to save money, they can tell you I will pay. And if you yes. really don't want to go, then you don't have mm. a way to say I don't want to go. Okay. Yes. No and <laughs> the visit for the parents could be any other time. Okay. Hi, Gabriel. Can you yes. talk now? Hello. Yeah. Okay, we listen to you. Read All right. the, the read uh, the question, please. Would you like to do a soccer match? Okay, the first answer. I like to, but I have the uh, I have to work late. I have to. I have, I have to. to work late. Work late. Okay. The next one. I like I do, but I need to save money. Okay, and the, the other one? I like to, but I want to visit my, my parents. Which of these excuses do you think is better? Um, uh, the most polite, maybe the fear one. I like to, but I had to work late. Okay, good. And see, this is I. Is the contraction for I good, okay? I good. I will. So you may say I'd like to, or, or, or you may say I would like to, okay? Pueden hacerlo right. de ambas formas. I would like to, or I'd like to. But you have to uh, pronounce it. I'd, I'd like to. I, mm -hmm. I I'd like to. to. I'd like to. Now, structure for accepting an invitation. Right. Subject, good, verb, to, and verb, plus complement. I would like to go to her new house. Repeat. I would like to go I, to I her would new house. I would like to go to her new house. I would love to go to her new house. I, I would love to go to her new house. A la hora de traducirlo al español, el primero sería como me gustaría, me gustaría ir a su nueva casa, y el otro es me encantaría. I would love, me encantaría. I would love to go to her new house. Okay. Now, a structure for refusing an invitation. Subject, good, verb, to, Verb, but, okay? 
but es pero, ¿ok? Entonces, cuando usted ya dice un pero, es que mm -hmm. hay una razón para no, no poder ir. Entonces, eh, I love to go to her new house, but I can't. I would like to go to her new house, but I can't. ¿Ok? Eh, no puede. No dicen por qué, solo que no pueden. ¿Ok? No. Eh, remember I told you that good is for invitations. ¿Verdad? Would you like? Would you like to go? Or would you, would you love to come? Or whatever. And then there is a way to accept and there is a way to refuse, but you have to be polite, okay? And now, uh, yesterday we didn't uh, develop this exercise, okay? Uh, escuchamos el, uh, Should we listen to the to the conversation again before answering? Yes. You have yes. to look for this. What kind of music? What kind of movies? What kind of TV programs? Uh, each of them like. Okay. No quiere ahora. Wait. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Three men want to invite Linda on a date. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music do you like? Oh, classical music. Okay. What kind of music does be like? Classical. Okay. Classical, okay. And how about you, John? Well, I like jazz. And you, Tony? My favorite music is rock. How about you, Linda? Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you? Mejor lo vamos a escuchar por por medio del Okay. Listen to four people on a TV game show. Can you Three listen? Three men want to invite Linda on a date. Yes. What kinds of things do they like? What kinds of things does Linda like? Welcome to Who's My Date? 
Today, Linda is going to meet Bill, John, and Tony. So, let's start with the first question on music. Bill, what kind of music? About you, Linda. Well, I like pop music. I don't like jazz or classical music very much. Okay, now let's talk about movies. Bill, what kind of movies do you like? I like thrillers. And how about you, John? Oh, I like westerns. Westerns are good. And how about you, Tony? I love horror films. And what about you, Linda? I really like horror films, too. <laughs> and now for question number three. Bill, what kind of TV programs do you like? Well, I like to watch news programs. John? Uh, well, you know, I really like talk shows. And Tony, how about you? I like game shows a lot. And Linda, what do you like? Well, I like talk shows and game shows. Okay, time is up. Now, who's the best date for Linda? Games. Game shows. Ok. Me había equivocado por andar corriendo aquí con el cursor. <laughs> ok, <laughs> let's check. Read number one and give the answer, uh, Gabriel. What kind of music does Bill like? Classical music. Ok, now Uriel. What kind of movies uh, does Bill like? Uh, he likes like uh, thrillers. Thrillers, okay. Now, uh, Gabriel. What kinds of TV programs does Bill like? News programs. Okay, Uriel. What kind of music does John like? Uh, he likes it, yes. He likes, likes. Uh -huh. Likes. Now, Gabriel. What kind of movies does John like? Westerns. Uriel. What kind of TV program does John like? He likes talk shows. Okay. Now, what, Gabriel. What kind of music does Tony like? Rock. Okay, Uriel. What kind of mu of movies does Tony like? He likes horror films. Okay. What kind of TV program does Tony like? Game shows. What kind of music does Linda like? Linda likes pop. Pop okay. music. What kind of movie does Linda like? Horror film. What kind of TV program does Linda like? Style shows and game shows. Okay. Okay. Everything is right. Have you ever finished uh, section four? ¿Ya terminaron no. ustedes la sección cuatro? I don't. I, you you I don't haven't. Know. Acuérdense no. que eh, for tomorrow you have to already finish all, ¿ok? Para mañana deben de haberlo terminado todo. Yo creo que hoy lo vamos a terminar para que para que ya cuando lo revisen mañana ya esté todo tranquilo, ¿ok? Let's see. Ah, teníamos que hacer el knowledge check de ahorita. Es del good. Ok. 
Google. Mm -hmm. Now, read the following invitations and select the best response. Okay. Uh, Gabriel, number one. I have ticket to the baseball game on, sa on Saturday. Would you like to go? Yes, I like. I love to. Okay. ¿Por qué no puede ser el yes I am? Uh... Porque no le están preguntando con verbo to be. Okay. Yes, it's a. Uh -huh. Maybe the. O sea, tienen, near. ustedes tienen ustedes tienen que que fijarse porque eh, sí dice yes. Dice yes. Pero acordémonos que lo que les he dicho, ustedes tienen que fijarse cómo les pregunta y de acuerdo a la pregunta, si es la respuesta. Porque aquí dice yes, pero no le están preguntando con verbo to be, no le están diciendo are you. No le están diciendo uh -huh. are you going to go. Le están diciendo would you like to go. Entonces usted tiene que decir yes, I'd, ¿verdad? Puede ser like o love. Como les dije. Cuando les dicen love es como más fuerte que like, ¿verdad? Es más, más interesado. Bien. Eh, now, Uriel, number two. Would you like to come over for dinner tomorrow night? And I. Hmm. I like. But I have to work late. Mm -hmm. Pero yo creo que la mejor, como dice la mejor, best, the best one, es, es la otra, la que dice, I'd like to, porque aquí le faltó el to. to uh, Ajá, entonces, I'd like to, but I have a meeting, pero vamos a ver, ok. Now, eh, Gabriel. Would you like to go to a pop concert with me this weekend? Uh, yes, I like to go. Pues sí, pero ¿cuál? The, the first one, yes, I I I really really like to go. Ajá, uh -huh. I'd, ¿verdad? Porque ahí va I'd. el I good. En el yes. otro, en el otro no está el good. No. ¿Verdad? Entonces por eso es el de arriba. Now, uh, Uriel, number four. Would you like to go a soccer match next Sunday? Uh, yeah. Yes, I'd love to. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Esta está rara, ¿verdad? Yes, I wouldn't love to. Uh -huh. O sea, primero dice yes y después el, el not. Entonces, este estaría bien si le pusiéramos un no. No, I wouldn't love to. Pero no es nadita de polite. <risa> ¿Verdad? <risa> Uh, number five, Gabriel. I would like to watch a movie on Friday night. Uh, I like to, but I had to work. I have to work. Okay. <laughs> Excellent. Si no han hecho esto, deberían de, de ver cuáles son las respuestas ahorita para cuando lo haga, porque de, de preferencia todos. terminémoslo hoy, ¿verdad? para que mañana que les revisen todo esté que ya lo hicieron. Y a propósito, creo que ya les van a empezar a mandar eh, la documentación para el próximo, porque al, al, terminar, al terminar esta semana eh, ya llevan el 80%, revisemos, El progreso. No, llevamos ahorita el 53, pero al terminar creo que se llega al 80. ¿Verdad? Entonces, porque ya solo falta la sección 5 y el, y el, y el final test. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este... Eh... 
esmérense por, por, para que no tengan problemas, para que les manden la documentación para el próximo grupo. Bien, vamos a ver la próxima. Well, in this lesson, participants will read an article about a single. A scanning for important information will be developed. Okay. Cristina Aguilera. Okay, follow the reading, please. Cristina Aguilera. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all ages around the world. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. She is Cristina Aguilera. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and career. 1980, Cristina is born on December 18 in New York. 1988, Cristina first appears on television in Star Search, a television talent show. 1992, Cristina is on TV in Disney's new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Cristina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star, and she tours Japan. Nineteen ninety eight. Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. Nineteen ninety nine. Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. Two thousand one. Along with other singers, Christina records Lady Marmalade for the movie Moulin Rouge. Two thousand two. Christina performs at the closest ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. 2004, Christina wins the Best Female Pop Vocal Grammy Award for Beautiful. Overall, Christina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. It's been quite a roller coaster ride, she laughs. I simply love my job. So do all Christina's fans. Okay. Now let's go to the platform. And check this. Okay. Ok, da. Eh, ¿Lo miran bien ahí o se los pongo un poquito más grande? ¿Así? Yo creo que está bien porque se ve todo. Ok. Na. Eh, eh, Gabriel, start reading, please. So far, she has multiple hit singles. She has fans of all age 
around the world. All and ages. Many people, all all ages. ages. Okay, all ages around the the world. Vale, and okay. many people. Now, okay. Uriel. And many people say she is the best singer of her generation. Okay, Gabriel. She is Cristina Aguilera. Uriel. Here are some highlights of Cristina's life and, ca and career. Okay, now, cada uno va a leer un año. Okay, first, uh, Gabriel Ortega. Cristina is born on the September 18th. 80th in New York. Ok, tiene que decir el año también. Ah, um, eh, 1980. 1980. Ok. Uriel. 1988. Cristina first appears on television in the Star Search, a television talent show. Mm -hmm. Ok. In 1992, Cristina is on TV. In this nice new Mickey Mouse Club with Britney Spears and Justin Timberlake. 1994, Christina records All I Wanna Do with Keiso Nakanishi, a Japanese pop star. She tours Japan. In 1998, Christina sings a song for the Disney movie Mulan. 1999, Christina has her first big hit, Genie in a Bottle. In 2001, along with other singers, Christina Records, Lady Mimer Lake, for the movie Moulin Rose, Roach. And 2002, Christina performs at the closing ceremonies for the Winter Olympic Games in Salt Lake City, Utah. In 2004, Christina wins the best female pop vocal Grammy ever for Beautiful. Okay, uh, Uriel, hasta el primer punto. Overall, Cristina Aguilera is thrilled by her success. And Gabriel? It is being quiet, a roller coaster ride. She loves a simple love, my Joe. So do all Cristina's fans. Okay. Now. In a. Uh, Hay que, hay que ordenar esto del 1 al 8. ¿Ok? Entonces, eh, ¿cuál creen que iría primero? She sings in a Winter Olympic Games. She is born in New York. She wins a Grammy for Beautiful. She records a song for a Disney movie. She travels around Japan. She works with Green, uh, Britney Spears. She is on television for the first time. And she has her first uh, very successful song. Okay. Hay que arreglarlos. From one to eight. ¿Cuál va primero? Uh, she's born. In she New York. is born in New York. Okay. And after that? She is on television for the first time. Uh-huh. And, and after that? I mean, she works with... Um, Se lo voy a poner. Uh, uh-huh. Uh, sí, with, with Britney Spears. With, uh, Okay, this is third. Uh huh. And then she was told in Japan. Uh 
All I wanna do in tours Japan. Yes. Uh huh. Four. Uh huh. Five. She record. She record a song for a Disney, Disney movie. movie. Yeah, the number five. Okay. In number six. She's in the, uh, the winter. No, the, 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 the she has first, the first, first very uh, successful song. Mm -hmm. ah, yes, yes. Six. Uh -huh. And then? And then she is in the winter. She wins. No, she, she, she sings. sings. In the winter Olympic. And then she got uh, the the beauty. She wins a Grammy. Uh-huh. Okay, let's see. Yes. Perfect. Acuérdense que tienen que llenarlo. Yes. Y ahí ya terminamos, ¿no? Finish. Finish. Ok. Quiero ver cómo nos dice el progreso ahora. Cincuenta y Aquí dice ochenta por ciento. Ya, ya con eso ya le mandan para el siguiente módulo para el siguiente módulo, exacto entonces este vamos bien ok, now any doubts about uh, section number 4 alguna duda o consulta sobre la sección 4 Solo con el would, eh, para decir no sería would o would not. Yes, so, I so would, eh, eh, sería no, I wouldn't. Pero como les, eh, como les he dicho, este, if, no if, if it is an invitation and you want to be polite, you, you have to say, would. I would like to, but, o sea, entonces no se dice de un solo no, I wouldn't sino que uh -huh. hay que ser polite. Entonces, este, usted dice, me gustaría, pero, ya cuando dice pero, es que no puede. Uh -huh. <ríe> pero, si, pero si la gente, la persona que le está invitando, no le, que, no le cae nada bien y le vale usted ser polite, de un solo no hay good. <ríe> okay. ¿Verdad? Sería lo, lo, más, lo más fácil, lo más rápido y lo más sincero. Okay. No, quiero. no, no quiero. Bien, entonces acuérdense que teníamos esta lectura, ¿verdad? Este, que no la habíamos terminado. Entonces, este, cada uno va a leer. Eh, ustedes pónganse a leer y yo le voy a decir stop y después sigue el siguiente, ¿ok? Gabriel. Joan Chen is a famous book in, in the China, China, where she grew up um, in the United States, where she know, where she now lives, how did John become a famous actress in two countries? It is an interesting story. Okay, Uriel. Yuan Chen was born in Shanghai in 1961. When she was 14, some people from a, fi a film studio came to her school and chose her to study at the studio. Okay, eh, Gabriel. Was, uh, Gabriel. 
she was happy about this change, but mainly she liked uh, like, uh, the idea of getting of, uh, out of the school. So, however, she discovered that she really liked acting. Uh, Uriel? At age 18, she won the Golden Roster, China's Top Film Award. Golden Rooster, Golden Rooster. Golden Rooster. Ajá, Golden Rooster. O sea, es el, 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 el gallo dorado. Gallo okay. dorado. Sí. Eh, Gabriel. In the late 1970s, uh, 70th. 70th, 1970s. 1970s. John's, John's parents who were doctors moved to the United States. Uh, Joan joined then when she was 20 and went to the went to college there. Her parents hoped no, uh, wait, she was... Uh, wait, wait, okay. wait, wait, wait. Uh, Uriel. Her parents hoped she would study medicine. Instead, she made she majored in film and later looked for work as an actress. Uh, Gabriel. To work in the, in the United States, Joan had to start all over again. She told Hollywood agents that she was an actress in China. But but she only got some small parts in TV shows. Okay, Uriel. One day, Joan went to speak to a director who was making a movie, Caleb Taipeng. The, the interview didn't go well. As uh, she walked away, a man in the car noticed her. Okay, the man, Gabriel. The man was. Dino De Laurentiis, the film's producer, he immediately offered her a, a leading part. A year later, she starred in Bernardo Bertolucci's this, The Last Emperor and, and was on her way to worldwide fame. Okay. Bye. Aquí dice... Vamos a hacer estos ejercicios. Eh, read the article, then put the events in Joan's Chain's life into the correct order, one to eight. Okay. Eh, she was born in China in 1961. This is number one. ¿Cuál seguiría después? Got her first part in a TV show. No, sería left school and study at a film studio. Okay. Después sería moved to the United States. Yeah. Y después sería studied film in college. Okay. Ella no apareció en Taipei. No sé por qué la están poniendo. Ella fue a yeah. entrevistarse y la entrevista no, no estuvo bien, dice. Pero saliendo de esa entrevista, la vio, eh, la vio Dino de Laurentis y le ofreció eh, ser estrella en, en, en The Last Empero. Ah, ah, no, perdón. Antes de estar en, en eh, antes de moverse a Estados Unidos, ella había ganado el, el Golden Rooster. Golden Rooster. Ajá, entonces sería was born in China, left school and studied in a film studio, and then won the Golden Rooster. ¿Verdad? Yes. Then moved to the United States and studied film in college. Después se fue a eso del type. Yes. Ah, no. Eh, espérate. ¿El TV show dónde yes. fue? Uh, 
Es que sí, apareció para eh, Fortuna. Ah, eh, eh, después de que eh, es, es antes de lo del Taipei, que estuvo en TV shows. Uh -huh. Y después fue a lo del Taipei. Y después de, eh, en, eh, eh, estuvo en The Last Emperor. Okay. The last one. Uh -huh. Después dice, talk about these questions. Do parents and children often have different ideas about careers? ¿Qué piensan ustedes sobre eso? Yes, always. <laughs> eh, sí, la mayoría, la mayoría, most of the time. But in my case, I respect my children's decisions. Eh, siempre los he, los, he, se, los he acompañado lo que ellos quieran hacer. Lo único que el tío aquí les dijo, estudien lo que ustedes quieran, pero igual se van a tener que hacer cargo del negocio familiar. <risa> <risa> pues sí, porque, o sea, a mi hermano le ha costado poner el negocio, ¿verdad? ya tiene prestigio. Que eso es lo que más cuesta armar, el prestigio. Y como sea, porque, por ejemplo, en, en Chiriquí, alguien eh, quería poner una planta de tratamiento de aguas residuales. Y donde estaba pidiendo como los permisos de construcción, porque para lograr esos permisos de construcción tienen que saber quién es el que va a hacer la planta. Entonces, las autoridades donde ellos fueron a pedir eh, lo de, lo, para empezar lo del proceso de permisos de construcción, les dijeron, nosotros les sugerimos las plantas de, del señor Hernández. Uh -huh. Hasta siempre han cumplido con los, con los parámetros y están en buen funcionamiento las que tenemos de ellos. O sea que las mismas autoridades lo recomiendan. Y él no es panameño. ¿Verdad? O sea, sino que nosotros somos salvadoreños, pero han visto que es bueno el trabajo que él hace, entonces ellos mismos lo recomiendan. Entonces, para que ya una autoridad te recomiende, estás en algo. Está haciendo bien su trabajo. Bien. Ajá, estás en algo. Entonces, este, y, y no solo porque él se va a querer jubilar, va a dejar tirado todo eso, pues, porque ya ese prestigio, ¿cómo lo levanta? Entonces él les dice, ustedes estudien lo que ustedes quieran, pero de que se van a tener que hacer cargo del negocio, se van a tener que hacer cargo del negocio. Porque, porque ya está bien puesto. Pa. Entonces, ¿para qué está luchando? Imagínate, dice, que él, también hay que para, ver lo económico. ¿eh? ¿Para qué estar trabajando para alguien más si puedes estar trabajando para ti mismo? Exacto. ¿Verdad? Y ya está puesto, pues. O sea, no tienen que empezar de cero. Porque ya tienen hasta prestigio. Uh -huh. La cosa es mantenerlo. Tener. Pero para eso tienen que darle el acompañamiento. Entonces, ahorita que ya se graduaron, hay uno que sí, ya se quedó con él, ya está hasta en la planilla. Eh, de, el, uh -huh. el otro sí está trabajando en un restaurante porque es chef. ¿Verdad? pero ya sabe bastante del negocio y es el que más el que más eh, va con el tío cuando, cuando hace viaje. ¿no? Mientras él no tenía trabajo, se iba con el tío y es como la segunda cara visible de la empresa. ¿no? Ya lo van conociendo. Ya lo van conociendo, sí, exacto. Y ya cuando mi hermano se, se salga de eso, ya tiene quien, lo, quien, quien agarre las riendas. Y como el chef también aprende a administrar Sí, empresa, sí, sí, le enseñan hasta cómo armar empresas y todo. Lo único que es una empresa totalmente diferente, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero, empresa es empresa. Ah, bueno. ¿verdad? Entonces, este, este es el, el otro, el otro, ¿cómo se llama? La, la número dos, que ya la vieron también. Pero quiero ver cuál es la lectura de aquí. Stuck in an airport, what to do? A mí me quedó, a mí me, me ha tocado quedarme en, en, en un aeropuerto una vez. Y mm. es, es algo compendioso. 
uno tiene que estar bien al ojo con, con sus cosas, porque si no se las roban. ¿Verdad? Se pierden. Es... <risas> sí. O sea, no crean que solo en El Salvador roban cosas por todos lados. <risas> Ok, eh, ¿y cómo les va ahorita con, con lo de sus likes and dislikes? ¿Ya, ya prepararon algo? What? Acuérdense que mañana van a hablar sobre las cosas que les gustan y las cosas que no les gustan. ¿O prefieren que lo dejemos yeah. para por último? O sea, adelantamos mañana ya lo que es la sección 5 para ir terminando ya lo que es este la plataforma y por último nos quedamos practicando. Sí. Bien. Sería mejor, ¿verdad? Sí. Hacer un poquito más de, de chance de sí, terminar sí. de completarla. Exacto. Bien, entonces mañana vamos a, a empezar con sección 5, ¿verdad? Para ir adelantando el trabajo en la plataforma. Y, y, este, y así ya... Al final nos quedamos, ya cuando hayamos terminado la plataforma, nos quedamos hablando entre nosotros y reforzando. También si tienen okay. dudas o consultas, algo que quieran que, que se les refuerce, me avisan. ¿Ok? De acuerdo. Take care. See you tomorrow. Bye, bye. Bye, bye.